Two weeks ago, baby Olivia was born by emergency caesarean section and had to go straight into intensive care with fluid in her lungs. Thankfully, Olivia showed signs of recovery and 48 hours after the birth, Vary at last got to hold her new child. Two and a half weeks later, and after spending some time at a hospital closer to home, baby Olivia is making her way back to York Hill for a crucial heart scan after her condition took a turn for the worse. She was fine up until last Tuesday when she started having a wee funny turn and they'd done an x-ray and seen that the fluid had built up again on her. Basically they tried to aspirate it using a needle and got loads of fluid out, but in doing that loads of air got back in and collapsed her lung. So they had to put another chest strain in and drain all the air out and drain all the rest of the fluid out. Doctors are worried that the fluid in the lungs could be a symptom of a potentially serious problem with Olivia's heart. For Vary and Ross, this crucial scan is yet another nerve-wracking process. I'm not seeing anything significant around her lungs at all. But at last, it's good news. Everything right. looks fine with her heart, as far as I can see. Um, and the other thing, I just looked to make sure she had no fluid around her heart, which mm -hmm. she doesn't have either. OK. <laughs> With these good results, and if the recovery continues, it shouldn't be long until at last Olivia will be able to go home. Just a few days after baby Olivia's scan, and at long last the proud mum and dad have brought her home. The thing that's amazed me is how different it feels having her home to being in the hospital, because even though I was there all day, it's just so different having her here all the time and I realise now how much how much we missed, you know, be, not being there overnight and I didn't understand how disconnected we were until I've got her home now and I can see. And already Ross and Vary have noticed that her lungs seem to be working well. <coughs> She's got a really loud scream as well. Uh, just... We've never really heard her scream when she was in hospital, she was in an incubator, but now she can scream the house down. <laughs> But she's happy. Mm. There you go, does that feel better? <coughs> oh. oh no! How lucky is that? Have I got to change you again? 